Welcome to the channel. Today I'm building a portable greenhouse. Let me show you how I did it. Now you want to take you a piece of wood. It doesn't matter. You can use two by fours. I have this one by four trim that was left over from our house and it's going to work just fine for this project. So what I am going to do, I'm going to cut uh, two four foot pieces and then two three foot pieces. And then let's get that cut and I'll show you how to put it together. Oh gosh. Okay, we have two four foot pieces and then two three foot pieces. And basically what we're doing is we want to make a box. Just put your four foot pieces on each side and take your three foot pieces and we're just going to uh, screw them into the sides just like that. Take your drill bit and put your two holes in the side of the four foot long piece. I have Craftsman, Milwaukee, DeWalt tools. Hey, it doesn't matter as long as they work. I have some two and a half inch screws I'm going to be using. You can use shorter ones, but this is just what I have. And just screw your three foot piece into the four foot piece. I think my battery's about dead. Uh oh. I guess we're going to switch to the Craftsman impact. Drill this side. It's helpful if you have two people doing this. We almost have our. Uh oh. I need a bigger table. There we go. I have a bunch of this. Uh, pecs piping left over from our house and I thought this would be perfect for a little greenhouse. All right, looks like we're going to need to cut our pipe around seven feet. All right, once you get one cut at seven feet, you can just use this one to measure the rest of them because they're kind of hard to measure with a tape measure. You can use your lawnmower to hold all your tools, you know, that's what I do. I got on my pipe cut. Now I just got to figure out the best way to mount these to the wood. I think I can just screw them on. This table is not big enough. Scratching this and get some saw horses. Tired of messing with it. Gosh. About to solve this problem. There. Now that's going to be better. <laughs> Let's try to attach these with a screw first, see how that works. There we go. I'm just putting two screws in it. I think that'll be plenty. We'll call this the hoop greenhouse. This kind of greenhouse would be perfect for somebody that lives in an apartment or you don't have a lot of room outside. You could probably start a few hundred plants in this little greenhouse. All right, I got this end done. I'm gonna go ahead and do that end. Then we'll measure to kind of see where our middle ones need to be. All right, this trim was $14. And then I had this, which I'm counting it as free, but uh, this peck pipe, I don't know how much it is for a 10 foot stick, but it's not very much. If you had to go buy everything, I would say you, you would have less than $50 in it. I'll do all this with one person. I have these little inch and a half screws that I'm screwing the hoops on with. Uh, it's really just the only thing I could find that I had plenty of in the shop. So our middle two hoops, we can put them at 16 inches and then 32 inches. That, that'll be close to center and get my pen. So we'll mark it at 16 and 32. We'll go ahead and mark this other side too. It don't have to be perfect, but I like it to be kind of symmetrical. <sighs> I need a tool belt. One more. This is a hoop house. It's a hoop house. We got our hoops on. I think I'm going to take a couple pieces and just run across the ridge here just to give it a little support up here. Then we'll be ready to put some plastic on it. I got a couple extra pieces. I'm just gonna make them work. Make them go like this and then run the other one down the other side. Hey, it'll work. You gotta work with what you got, you know? Like a glove. It's always hard screwing into something round. Say, so why ain't you using a drill to start them holes, Stacy? Well, I like to do stuff the hard way, okay? <laughs> My gosh. You probably don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I thought might as well. Need one more screw. Tell you what, this done got humid here in Mississippi. Tell you that. Woof! It's like 70 degrees and I'm like pouring. I got this plastic at Ace. It was like $7.99. It's a 10 by 20 foot roll. Should be more than enough to do this. I'm gonna drape it over it and then we'll staple it to our boards. I 
I'm going to staple one side and then I'm going to pull it tight on the other side and staple it. It's nice to have one of these little power staplers too. They're not very much. Stanley. Pull this side tight. I'm doing like a cross with my staples. It gives a little extra support. Try to get it as tight as you can. Then you just go to town on it. I like it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close up one end and then I'm going to make some sort of a door for the other side. If you want both sides open, we can just put a door on each side. Bring my excess over on each side. Think I got enough in there? <laughs> Take your razor blade and just trim the ends off. I think I'm just gonna cut straight down the middle. Look at that. There's plenty of room in there. All right. I think I got an idea for this door. I think for the front, I'm gonna put like a put a piece of wood right here and just screw it in. That'll seal up your front. You don't really need this unless you're just in really severe weather areas. Then when you want to get in a greenhouse, you can just pop these screws off. But if anybody has any better ideas, let me know in the comments on how to make a door for this. Well, there we go. Check it out. If you live in an apartment or like a, you don't have a lot of room, this would be perfect for you. I had to keep the frost off of it. I promise you that. Hey, if you made this bigger, you can sleep in it. It's like a tent. Keep you dry. Hey, check this out. It probably weighs 10 pounds. Hey, if you live in a really windy area, you could get you some stakes and drive them into the ground and attach it to this. Shouldn't go anywhere. Well, thank you for watching. Subscribe, please, and I'll catch you next time.